Okay, so I am so excited, you guys. Our team has growing so, so crazy. Um, and last month, if you just joined us last month or if you've been with us for a little bit, you just experienced like coming into you know, a crazy, crazy momentum. And it is just so unbelievable. And I'm just so honored to even be, you know, doing this alongside with you guys. So I want to give you just a quick introduction of who I am. And then we're going to get started, you guys. I'm going to go over the basic five things that we do every single day. This will hopefully just be about an hour or sorry, a half an hour long. Um, but what I want you guys to do is this is a perfect time to ask questions. Okay. Um, we have 25 people on here. And normally these little like mini trainings um, are a little bit more, um, you know, exclusive, just, you know, a little bit more intimate. And so this is the perfect time to ask questions and, you know, let's figure all of this out together. Okay. So I'm Amanda, you guys, my, I have been doing this for six years. I started this working full time as a dental hygienist. So I understand if you guys just got into this and you also are maybe um, a parent or, you know, a spouse and you also work full time. Maybe you have a couple jobs. Um, I totally get the, the balance of it all. Um, and so I started this just to make a little extra money, had no idea what I was doing. So I felt a lot like probably you guys just kind of like, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I see people making money with this. Um, and I dove in and I didn't have somebody to jump on coaching calls with me like this. I didn't have, I signed up with my friend and we were like the blind leading the blind. And so literally we learned how to work this business through trial and error watching YouTube videos and things like that. Um, and so for you guys to come into a team that's already very successful and already has like steps and systems put into a place, like, you know, I'm so excited for you guys. So you, you don't have to go through all those trial and errors. Um, and so anyways, I just, one thing led to another. Um, my biggest tip you guys is to come to events, like get yourself plugged into our team these trainings are Tuesday trainings because that's when a light bulb flipped for me is I went to my very first training. Um, it was an in-person training, which we don't have those right now because of the time, um, because of the COVID and stuff. But, um, and I joined this just to make a couple hundred dollars extra a month. And I saw that other people were making way more than that. And they were coming home to their kiddos and they were paying off debt. And we were struggling financially, just having so much debt. But to be honest with you, I struggled a lot being a mom working and leaving my little guy Jacks at home. Um, and so I left that training completely with a different mindset. And I thought, man, if they can do this, like I know I can do this too. And so you guys in five months, I was able to retire dental hygiene and come home to Jax, our first son. And I've now been retired for five and a half years. Okay, um, I'm at the very top rank of the company and we've been doing this for six years. And so I tell you this, not to be like, oh, I'm at the top of the rank of the company, but I tell you this because I was you just like where you are now, just starting where you are now. Um, and I know what it's like to come into something and it's, the unknown it's you're learning something new and so my biggest tip is not only to stay plugged into this team but also to become a student right now you know become a student of this business so um i'm going to teach you guys the five basic steps that we do we call it the core four and more it's five core things that we do every single day four of those things are on social media okay and one of those things is going to be something that you're just going to incorporate into your life okay so we're just gonna go through these very um quickly but in detail and yes i hope i do not cough today but i can't make any promises lee um i have this like tickle that i get in my throat you guys i've had it for like a month it's just been crazy maybe it is the coronavirus i don't know but um hopefully i won't cough on you guys um so i am just so excited to dive into you guys i hope that you have your notes um, but here's the thing. I really, really want you guys to ask me questions. Okay. That is going to be the most important thing. Um, I've been in this for six years, you guys, and I still ask questions every day. And there's some leaders on the team and I will ask them questions. So I'm like, how are you doing this? Out, out guys. Um, I'll be done in about 30 minutes. Close the door, please. 
Um, see, work the business with kiddos. Um, so, you know, ask questions, you guys, because I will tell you guys that, you know, like I said, become a student of this. It's kind of like when you just get, you know, when you go to school, let's just, let's just say you're going to school for, I'm just going to say dental hygiene, because that's what I am. So you're going to school for dental hygiene or whatever subject you're wanting to learn. The first day that you go there, do you master it like that? Do you know everything about that? No, right? So you have to go again and again, and you have to learn it and you have to apply it. And that is the same of this business. You have to come and show up. You have to learn it and you have to apply it. So I always tell you guys, if you guys are coachable and you guys apply the things and you guys are determined to be successful for yourself and you make that commitment for yourself, you will make so much money with this business. Okay. So make a commitment today that you are going to be consistent with this business every day and you're going to apply these five things that I'm going to teach you. Okay. So number one, you guys, and this is no order. You guys can literally do these in the nooks and crannies of your day. You can either sit down for an hour and bust them all out, or you can do it 10 minutes here, 10 minutes here, 10 minutes here, whatever you guys want. Okay. So I'm going to go through these pretty quickly, but I want you guys to ask questions if you have them um, in the chat right down below. Okay. Um, so number one, you guys is going to be posting. Okay. The beauty of this business is we can work it all through social media and our company, we're open in 25 different countries. So you can literally grow a business. If you have 200 friends on here, you can literally grow your network like this all over the world. Okay. So number one is going to be posting on social media. Okay. So if you go take a look at my post, I want you guys to all follow me on, on social media if you want to. You can follow me and see first so you guys can see my post. Um, and what I want you guys to do is kind of look at to see how I post, okay? So how you wanna post is not all it works, okay? Not all about the products. You wanna post about the products that you're using. You wanna post about the products that you're wanting, about your goals, okay? You wanna post about why you're doing this business. Okay. Um, and so my big rule of thumb, if you look at my post, I will post probably about three to six times a day and about every, you know, every couple hours. So a good rule of thumb is morning, lunch, and then like dinner time or evening time. And then you can post kind of like in between there. Okay. So for instance, like in the mornings, and I'll just kind of walk you through on how I post in the mornings, I will post about either my skinny brew my keto coffee, me snuggling with my kids, um, or something inspirational. Okay. Because when I, when I have people come to my Facebook page, Facebook is my moneymaker. Facebook and Instagram gives me a multiple six figure income every single year. Okay. So that is my moneymaker. So I want it to, when people come to it, they are, bring, they're getting value from it. They're getting inspiration from it. They're seeing that I'm consistent and I'm just not one of those people just signing up for an MLM and just doing it here and there. Okay. This is my profession. This is our livelihood. So I take it very seriously in the way that I want it. When people come to it, they're getting value. They're getting something from it. They're getting inspiration or there may be there. It's helping them dream bigger. Okay. That is my goal. That's my intention. And so you know, a really good post would be if you just started would be, you know, something on the lines of, you know, I am so excited. You know, we've been struggling for a while and I started this business so that, you know, we don't have to struggle anymore. Maybe I could come home to my son and have more time with him, or maybe I could put money into a savings. I started this business. I can work all from my phone, you know, and I cannot wait to see where it takes me. Something like that, because you didn't even mention the company. It's not salesy at all, but what it is is you're sharing what you are wanting and you're inviting people in, okay? And it's gonna bring curiosity. It's gonna bring, you know, people like, whoa, like what is Amanda doing, you know? And so people are gonna join you. They're gonna follow you when they're inspired, when, they, when you have energy. They're gonna follow you when you, are bringing value to them, okay? So posting is good. So um, what I like to do, you guys, is head over to the unit section after this on our team page, and there's a whole unit on posting. There's videos on it, there's post ideas, um, 
So kind of what I like to do is I like to do one, pro one to two product posts, depending on what my goal is that day, okay? I like to do um, like a, an, inter an interaction post. So it might be something where I'm asking people to, you know, a host a post one, or it could be something where, you know, I'm just at, like, you know, something where a lot of people are going to comment and interacting post. Okay. Um, I'm going to talk about the opportunity a lot, the business a lot, the life a lot, because that's what people are going to relate to. People are going to relate to me because, um, you know, other moms want to stay home. They're going to relate to me because we travel a lot and other people like to travel a lot. They're going to, you know, be inspired by the life that we're living or that we're wanting. Okay. So remember, I have started just where you are. Okay. Where I didn't have success yet, but what I posted about is what I want. Okay. And then if like other people, like we just had tons of promotions on our team. So you guys could actually take that picture because they're on your team too, that we're all in one team. And you can just say, oh my gosh, like, you know, um, like this girl, like, look at, like, she just promoted to a diamond rank. She just, you know, I cannot wait till I get there. Like, how awesome is our team? You know, something like that. Um, you know, use other people's success to, you know, enhance, you know, your, your story, enhance what you want, that kind of thing. Um, okay, so, um, the, and then I, I have one don't, okay? And this is gonna be really, really important. Um, I don't like, so there's an algorithm on Facebook and it gets messed up very easily. And if you are in Facebook is really, it can get congested very easily. So just remember my tip to you is Facebook is your money maker. Your Facebook profile or Instagram is your resume. Okay. So my biggest don't for you is to not share other things. Like what I mean is hit that share button and share a cat video, hit that share button, share a recipe, hit that share button and share a quote or, you know, maybe you see a post that I did, you know, don't share it because I'm going to get the credit for it. What I would want you to do is save that picture or whatever and make your own post. Okay. So try not to share things because really you're just congesting your resume. Okay, and so then when you finally do make a really good post about the, your business, it's going to get lost in all the junk that has been shared. Okay, so if, if, if it's COVID stuff, if it's, you know, um, about dog stuff or a funny video or anything like that, like, you know, maybe share it individually to a person that you want to see, but don't put it on your resume. Okay, it's just going to make things really messy. Um, <clears throat> So I copy and paste things all the time. Yes, Christy, absolutely. So if you see a post that I do, that's why I want you guys to follow me. See a post that I do. You guys can copy and paste that or use that for inspiration. Change up the words a little bit. Throw a different picture in there and make it your own, okay? So if you saw that I just posted about my skinny brew, snuggling with my kids today, and that we're about to jump on a coaching call, you can change that. Take that verbiage and be like, I and put a picture of you make a put a, take a picture of this right now and say I just got off of a coaching call I'm so excited like this business is going to change our lives do you know like that's gonna bring so much interaction to people like people are gonna be like what is you know Rachel doing what's Michaela doing I need my life changed like I'm broke you know so you guys make sure you just you know take advice of what people are doing because I've been in this for six years and the beautiful thing about me being in for six years and you guys just starting is I know what works and I know how to coach you guys to success. And I know systems that are put into place and it's literally down to a science now. And so when we aren't getting results, it's because we're not doing one of these things that I'm teaching you. Okay. So posting is great and you don't have to be an expert at it right now. And you don't have to second guess yourself right now. Just put your post up and you will learn as you go. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to answer questions towards the end so I can get through all of this. Um, so number one is posting. Um, posting to your stories as well. Okay. So stories on Facebook or on, so on, on Instagram are so good to do. Um, and so just a tip I have for you guys. First of all, we have a whole album of stories. Um, but I'm also organizing something for you guys. Um, to help you guys get more stories. But if you guys go to our Facebook page and you go to the announce or our Diamond Dream Squad and you go to the announcements, there's a link 
there. It's called, um, let me see where it's at. It is called Telegram. And there's a link that is just for It Works stories, okay? All of our stories. So there has like all of these stories. And so if you just join that link, it's completely for free, but you guys can get graphics for your stories. Okay, and those are really important to do too. I always put 10 new stories up every day. Um, product stories, life stories, and then the opportunity, okay? Um, okay, number two, you guys, is growing your network. Now, growing your network is really, really important. I like to teach this on day, you know, in the first couple of days. Um, and the reason being is because the more network you have and the newer network you have, the more people you're going to get right away, okay? <clears throat> So the more people you have, the more people are seeing your post and the more people you're able to interact with, okay? So growing your network, what I did when I first started, I had 200 friends when I started, okay? So what I did was I went to one of my friends that I knew had a pretty good network. I would go to her network, could go to her Facebook friends, and I would just start adding all of her women friends to my network, just send them friend requests, okay? I would probably do about a ask, I would probably send like a hundred friend requests at a time. Okay. If I sent about a hundred friend requests at a time, I'd probably get about 20 new friends that day. Okay. So that's what I recommend. You could do it from groups. You could be a part of a mom group. If you are in Arizona, you could start a whole network in Texas or Florida or Vegas or Colorado or Canada or Europe. You know, you can start a network anywhere. Okay. So one thing I did is I went into, I wanted to start a network outside of Arizona. So I became a part of dental hygiene groups that were in like Texas and, you know, just other states. And what I would do is I would start adding those people who were in that group of like the Texas to my network. And then what would happen is then I would go to their network and start adding their friends and then go to their network and start adding their friends. So then Texas just blew up. And then Vegas just blew up, you know? So now we have a team, like it's not just local to Arizona. We have a team all over the world, which is incredible, you know? So you really can grow a network anywhere, anywhere. Um, so, okay. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks for putting those names. Um, those are some people to follow you guys. Jelena just put those. So if you just click on them, don't send them a friend request, just follow them. Okay, just follow them because they won't accept your, because they, they're all It Works people, so they they have to save their room for, you know, their, their network and stuff. Um, okay, so that's number two, you guys. Number three, you guys, is going to just be building relationships. Okay, so one tip that I do, and I do this very quickly each day, um, is I will send happy birthdays out every day. Okay, and then right before I post, I will just interact with about 10 to 15 people. And what I mean by interacting is I will just go down my timeline, down my newsfeed, and I will just say, oh my gosh, your little ones are so cute. How old are they? Um, oh my gosh, I hope that you have a really good day. You know, just interact with them. I try to at least have like five words and I try to ask questions. That way it keeps the conversation going, okay? The more you interact, then the more people are gonna see your post. So if you make a post out there and nobody is seeing it or you're not getting interaction on it, there's two reasons why. One, you're probably not interacting enough on social media. And two, you're probably not growing your network. Okay. So make sure those things are getting done. Um, and I probably just do that a couple of times a day right before I post you guys. So it's really, really easy. Um, okay. So number four, you guys, is going to be by messaging, okay? Now, there's three types of messages that I send out every single day, and what is so beautiful, you guys, is we have a system. It's called Host-to-Post, and have, have any of you guys, like, dabbled in a Host-to-Post yet? Do you guys all know what that is? If you don't, like, say no in the comments. Everyone know what it is? Anna says no. Okay. So what host to post is, and there is a training that was just done. So I'll get the recording out to you guys and I hope, hopefully you guys can watch it today. So over the next 10 days, 
um, our company has picked just a couple of us leaders to train everyone in the company how to do a host of post. So today was day one and then we're going to do it every single day. So what a host of post is, you guys, it is so simple and we can even do it together if you guys want right now. But it, what it simply is, is you are utilizing your network to grow your network. Okay. It is so awesome. So say for instance, Michaela is one of my friends on social media. Um, what I would do is just say, Hey, Michaela, would you mind sharing this post for me? Um, it would help me out so much. And all you have to do is copy and paste it onto your Facebook. Okay. So Michaela says, sure, no problem. So she copies and pastes the post that I give her. And what it does is now all of her, her, her network is seeing my post. Okay, so then her network is commenting and liking on my post. So then what I do is I go there and I add, I send everyone a friend request that just commented on my post. And then I send them a message and I say, hey, thanks for commenting on my post. Are you interested? Can I give you more information about this? You know, so now not only did I just grow my network, but now I have a potential customer or a potential distributor. Okay, and so it's a great way to grow your network and gain people all the day, all the time. Okay. So we recommend to have 10 people post for you every single day. And that will give you guys instant results. I guarantee you guys, if you don't have a network who is supportive of you right now, if you start dabbling into host to post, I guarantee you will get your first six customers like this. You will get them so quickly. Okay. So <clears throat> we can even do them if we have some time at the end. We, oh, we're doing good on time. Um, but we can even do some, and I can give you guys some verbiages. Okay. We, our team loves the coffee, like the skinny brew host to post. And if you guys, I want you guys to watch the training and I'll put the, as soon as I get the recording, I'll put it in there. But, um, my biggest recommendation is stick with one product to have people post for you. And yeah, it works so good. Um, and it's just the consistency. Okay. So I'm also going to give you guys, um, I'll have you guys print out a little tracker so that you can track them every day. Okay. Um, so I'll put that in our, it's, and it's in our team page. So just ask your, ask your sponsor, be like, Hey, can you send me that tracker? Um, okay. So that's one thing that we do is every day we, we do, we get 10 people to post for us. Okay. Um, the other, the other things that we do every day is mess uh, for messaging is we follow up with people. Um, you're going to hear this a lot. The fortune is always in the follow up. Okay. And the reason being is because it really does. There's been studies done saying that it takes about an average of seven to 11 follow-ups before somebody either gets your product or joins your business, seven to 11 follow-ups. Okay. So for instance, this is what, how I follow up and I make my follow-ups very short, sweet, and to the point. Okay. So say for instance, you know, Devin was like, interested in the skinny brew. And then I gave her the price and then she ghosted me. In 24 hours, I just simply say, hey Devin, just wanted to touch base with you. Is this something that you're wanting to do? Okay. Um, and a lot of times they're gonna get back to me and they're gonna be like, oh, you know, I can't afford that. If they say that they can't afford it, then I simply just say, when is a good time for you? And I can, you know, we can get you set up whenever you're ready. You know, and then I put them in my calendar. Um, another thing, so like, and then after that, if they, if they ghost me again, I'll probably follow up with them in two days and I'll just say, Hey girl, you know, I don't know if you saw, but we have a big promotion going on. Is this something that you're wanting to do? Okay. If they still don't message me back, then I will follow up with them like towards the end of the week and be like, Hey girl, like, you know, I don't want you to miss out on our drawing that we have for this month. Do you want to get entered into our cash drawing? Okay. And then a lot of times they're like, oh yeah, heck yeah. So then they'll respond back to me and then I'll just put them up on my follow-up list. And I just keep following up with them. But the thing is, is when we follow up with them, first of all, it's not pushy if you are doing it the correct way. Okay. What it tells your, what it tells your potentials is that you are like, you know, you're caring about them, that you are thinking about them and you want to help them. Okay. I will tell you more often than not, if you don't follow up with them, somebody else is, and they will either join that other person's team or they will, they will sign up with that other person. I have lost people to that because when I first started, I thought, man, I don't want to bother people. I don't want to follow up with them and bother them. Like they'll just come to me when they're ready. 
they won't, you guys. In fact, they will go to somebody else because one, they, you fell off of their radar and you're not in their inbox. Somebody else is. Okay. So there has been so many times where I have had potentials. They didn't sign up and I just kind of let them go. Cause I was like, Oh, they'll just come to me. And then when I finally got the guts to message them, they're like, Oh, I already signed up. I'm underneath so-and-so. And I have lost out you guys. So now I always make it a mission. I am their person. I will be in their inbox and they will come to me because they're always seeing my face. They're always seeing my posts. They're always seeing me consistent and wanting to help them. Okay. So follow-up is always in the fortune. So if you feel like you're bothering them, you need to like, you need to get that out of your head right now because you will lose people. You will, other people will sign them up. Okay. Um, okay. So the other thing that we do is messaging and it's just, you know, like I would, um, for all of my friends on here that are new, this is a message that I always send to my personally enrolled distributors and I have them send this out. So you guys can definitely copy this. And what I do is I say, okay, girlfriend, okay, um, Tracy, I want you to send this out to 30 friends right now. Okay. And individually never group messages. And then what she's going to do is say, okay, she sends this out to 30 people. And then I say, okay, do not respond back to anyone. You have to send me the screenshot so I can tell you exactly what to say. Okay. Because remember, we've been doing this for, our team has been around for six years. We know what to say and what not to say and the correct information. So verbiage is so important. And when we first sign up, we don't know what to say. So we end up vom word vomiting and giving incorrect information and losing people. Okay, so utilize your upline to give you the correct verbiage so that you know exactly what to say. And it just makes it easier for you guys, okay? So, okay, so you guys can go ahead and take that message and go ahead and send it out today and then use your person to whoever enrolled you and send them screenshots when people respond, okay? Um, okay. The fifth thing you guys is going to be, and this is, so those four things we all do on social media, Facebook and Instagram, okay? The fifth thing that we do every single day, you guys, is going to be self-development. And you guys are going to hear us talk about this all day long, every single day, because those four things that we do, so simple, right? Adding people, sending them messages, adding people, sending them messages, like so dang simple, Okay. Self-development is going to be your mindset. 80% of this business, and I would probably argue more, 80% of your business is your mind, okay? The 20% is the work, okay? So self-development is going to help you guys stay on track. It's going to help you guys have confidence. It's going to help you guys have belief. It's going to help you guys stay excited. It's going to help you guys, you know, when somebody says no to you, then you know, okay, just move on to the next person because I know somebody else is going to want this. It's going to help you when you have bad days to snap out of it and continue to go. Okay. I will tell you guys, there's two reasons why people quit at this business. Either one, they don't, they're not consistent with it. So they're not seeing results. Okay. And two, they are not doing the self-development. So as soon as they aren't seeing instant results, they quit. So, you know, don't be that person. If you don't see results in your first day, don't get discouraged. You just started. If you don't see results in your first five days, don't get discouraged. Go to your person who enrolled you and say, okay, what do I need to do differently? You know, if you don't see results in your first 30 days, the what you want, keep going. This is a business and just know that, it's building. Okay. We don't see, yes, you can see instant results. Okay. But it comes with numbers. Okay. So if you're not seeing the results that you're doing, then maybe you need to send out more messages, add more people to your network, post differently, you know, be consistent, come to the trainings. Okay. Um, you will see results when you do these five things. Okay. And the reason I can say that honestly is because I've been in this for six years and I know what it takes to get to where you guys want. So if you want $500 extra a month, then these are the five things that you need to do every single day. Okay. So self-development is going to be podcasts that you listen to. In fact, I want all of you guys to, everyone should have the app podcast on your phone. It is completely free. 
I want you to go there and I want you to search Pam Souter. Okay, Pam Souter is the queen and she is one of my biggest mentors and people that I look up to in this industry. She is so incredible, literally, like you have a conversation with her and you feel like you can conquer the world, okay? So I want you guys to go and download her podcast and I want you guys to listen to one of her podcasts every single day, okay? Um, so incredible. So mindset is gonna be huge. So podcast, listening to books or reading books, there's YouTube videos for like, like Tony Robbins, Tony Robbins, um, you know, just different motivational videos that are just incredible. Um, if you guys want anybody to put your um, favorite people, you can. Um, but it's going to be like right now I'm reading, like I, I read like two to three books at a time, you guys, like, cause I like, I go back and forth depending on how I'm feeling that day. Right now I'm reading this one. Okay. Um, one of my favorite books for newbies is called Go for No. It's a very short read. Um, you can listen to Audible or even um, just read the book. Yep. Nikki has it right there. Just Go for No, the original version. Uh, version. Um, so, so good, you guys. But that will literally help you. I will tell you guys, because I struggle with messaging people. I struggle with people telling me no because um, I want people to like me, right? Like we all want people to like me. We don't want, we don't want people. So in my head, I was like, I don't want to annoy people. And so when I read that book, I will tell you my mindset completely changed with this bit about my thinking about all that. And so did my business. That's when I started making money. So go for no is so amazing. You guys, um, let's see. Yes, those are all so good. Miracle Morning, Atomic Habits, all those are so, so good. Um, okay, let's kind of open it up for some questions really quick. I have about 10 more minutes. Like that? Are you ready for the last one? Uh, about 10 more minutes, and then you guys can, okay? Okay, so go ahead and unmute your phone if you guys have questions. Um, there was some in here I wanted to... This is the perfect time to ask you guys because honestly, like I said, there's 25 people on here. You guys should all have questions that you guys are like, like, oh, I got this question. Every single one of you guys. I, I want to hear a question from you guys. Um, just go ahead and unmute your phone or put it in the chat. I'm going to look through these comments really quick. Hey, Amanda, what are the best follow-ups for people who don't host a post for you? Um, like if they say that they do and then they don't. So I, um, which I wish I had my tracker, it's in my house. But so what I do is when any time like somebody says that they're going to host a post for me, I write their name down on my tracker. And then at the, like in the, e oh, thank you, Jelena. Yes. There we go. Yay. Okay. So I put it on there and put their name on there. And then like in the late afternoon or in the evening time, or as soon as they post for me, I, I highlight their name. Okay. And then if they did not post for me and they said that they would, I send them just a simple message and I say, Hey girl, um, did you want to make this po or Hey girl, let me know when you make this post, I'll get you entered into the drawing. You know, just so simple. Hey girl, let me know when you make this post, I'll get you entered into the drawing. Or I'll even just say like, Hey girl, you know, did you want to make this post so you can get entered in, you know? And a lot of times we're like, Oh yeah, sorry. Like I just made it for you, you know? So always, always follow up with them like that day. Um, that's a good question. Uh, let's see. Somebody, let's see. There was um, Jane. Let's see. Okay, so Jenna said, do you find whether morning or evening posts work better? So the thing is, is there's people jumping on at different times all the time. So my big rule of thumb is that you post in the morning, you post at lunch, and you post in the evening. And before, so I won't, I normally will cut off my post around like nine o'clock Arizona time. That's when I nor normally make my last post. I post in the morning because there's going to be morning people and I post at lunch and then in the evening and then I post in between there. So I post about five to six times a day. Um, and so it's not really the best time. It's when you are consistent. You know what I mean? Because everyone is going to be on Facebook at different times. So you want to not just post in the morning or at night. You don't want to just post one day, one time a day, 
because only one, one set of people are gonna see that post. You literally wanna post at the different times every, couple, every three to four hours um, because you have pe different people jumping on. And so, so yeah, I always post um, those times. Amanda? Yeah, hi, Laura. Hi, um, do you just post like about the product in the morning? Or do you do like all three posts in the morning, at lunch, and in the evening? Yeah, so you only wanna do one post at a time um, and you wanna spread your post out. You don't wanna have your post any sooner. Like I don't wanna post and then 10 minutes later post again and then 10 minutes later post again. It will like totally just make your Facebook congested and messy. So you do wanna at least have about an hour to an hour and a half between your posts. And what I do is like in the morning, I will post something inspirational or about me and my kids snuggling because we have the time or about my skinny brew. Those are typically what I post about um, because one, everyone's drinking coffee in the morning. So I post about that a lot. Two, every, some, I'll post about my kids and what we're doing snuggling because so many people are like having to go to work and they don't get a snuggle with their kids. That was me. That was my big thing. Like I would see people like all the time, like watching movies in the morning or snuggling with their kids. And I wanted that. So I post about that because that just shows people that they can, they can do that. Um, or I'll post about like an inspirational quote and I don't share a quote. I literally will save the picture and I make my own post about it. And then I might post again, like, you know, my kids are out playing. So I might go snap a picture of them and say something I'm grateful for. You know, I talk about the business, the opportunity. So I will just post you know, about, um, you know, separate times a day, but about that. And so we want you guys, there's two things that we gather in this business. One is customers and two is distributors. Okay. If you post all day long about the products, you're going to get a lot of customers, but you're not going to get any distributors. Okay. And the reason why is you're not talking about the business. You're not talking about the opportunity. So you really want to make sure that you're posting about both. Okay. Um, so, so yeah, you want to post about like what you're wanting out of this business. Why did you join this business? That kind of thing. <clears throat> um, let's see. I'm trying to look through these questions. Who else has another question? Amanda, um, I'm actually one of the same thing Cecilia is. Is there already an amount out for the next drawing or do we just need to wait on that? For the April one or for the May one? Um, I'd go for the June one because I think we're already done with the May one. Yeah, so, so the next like, one will be June 3rd. Um, and we always say at least $500 because that's at least what our team does. This drawing will actually be $700 that we're going to do um, tomorrow because we got that much money for it. So we're gonna do seven, but we always say 500 because we always at least get 500 from our team. And so that's a really good question. I didn't bring that up. So you guys, every single month, you guys, if you just joined, you're already grandfathered in to use this um, drawing that we do. But every single month, if you guys want to, it's completely optional. Um, our team will put in $10, everyone puts in $10 into this pot, okay? And what we do is then we take that and we say, hey, if you post for us, we'll get you entered into this drawing, okay? And so they post for us and then we put them into this drawing. And so it's awesome because we then give back to our network. And I hear a couple of times people are like, do we, do you guys really like, give money? And I'm like, yes, you guys, we give money. So everyone on our team sends, you know, then most me the money. And then we will do a drawing every single month on the third of the month. And we give, you know, back to our community. We randomly pick um, names. And so it's just so awesome. I thought it was only 600, but wow. Yeah, we got 700. Yeah, so awesome. Hey, Amanda. Can you, oh, go ahead. Can you talk a little bit about how you decide, like when you do your opportunity posts on your story, you know how like you do, you usually do like sometimes pictures from throughout your day or whatever. And you do like a couple different ones and you choose like you usually like introduce yourself and then talk a little bit about like why you're there. Can you um, kind of talk about how you choose like what to put on those slides? Is it like the same every single day or every time you do it like the wording or do you change it up? Like do you write something new all the time? Like how do you choose like what to do that? Like is it bad to be repetitive? Like if I just make a script but post it to different pictures every couple days? 
Yeah, that's what I do because you guys, it just saves so much time. And the thing is, is you want to be repetitive because that's what people, people are going to see. They want to, you need to see, you need to say the same thing over and over and over again so that people will see it. Okay. And I always like use this analogy. It's kind of like when you see a commercial and I, I say Taco Bell because I love Taco Bell. Um, but I say like, if you see a Taco Bell commercial, you're like, oh my gosh, that looks so good. And then you see it again and you're like, oh, that looks so good. Like I'm craving that. And then you see it again, you're like, okay, I just got to get that. And then you see it again, you're like, okay, I'm in the car, I'm going to go get Taco Bell. You know, so when you see things over and over, our brain like says, you want it, you want it, you want it. And so same with this business. When somebody sees that I get a snuggle with my kids every day, they're like, oh, that's good for her. They see it again, they're like, oh, man, I wish I could do that. They see it again, they're like, okay, I got to figure out what she's doing. Then they message me, okay? And then they keep seeing it, okay? And so... That's a really good question. It's we, we are repetitive. So what I do is I save my little verbiages that I have in my word board and I just put them up there. And then I, what I do is that I save those photos that I just did and I put them in my, like an album. I have a story album in my phone. It's just labeled stories. I put all my stories in there and then I reuse my stories. Like if you guys, if you guys know me and watch my stories, you're like, okay, she just did that like three days ago. You know, I, I literally use my stories over and over and over again. So, because I don't, I don't got time to make new stories. So I just use them all. all so is there, is there for the bullet points though, for your stories, is there like a format we should follow? Like your first sl slide should like introduce yourself. Your second one should talk about X. Your third one should for the opportunity, like a good format, like for when we're writing them for the first time, is there a good format that you would recommend that we you follow? Could just, you couldn't copy like what I do, like the format I do. I just, I don't even know what a format, I don't even, I don't have one that I specifically use. I just kind of say like, okay, who I am. I mean, I would just look at mine and kind of like mimic off of that and put it to yours. I don't have a certain format. I just kind of just say like, you know, maybe who I am and then what I did before I started, why I started, what this business is doing for us, you know, what I love about this business, that kind of thing. So I don't okay. have a specific format. I would just say like, if you, when you see what I'm, I just, just mimic off of what I do and just change it. Thank you. Hey, Amanda, I have another question. Sure. Um, I tend to have two or three people that consistently like the opportunity post, but nope, they don't ever message or comment do you follow up on the likes mm -hmm. if you see a consistency of someone liking uh-huh i always do i just say you know thank you so much for liking on my post and you know um and i just say the same thing as i would you know you know okay. would you be interested in more information on the business that i do yeah absolutely anytime somebody even views my story I message them. Hey, thanks so much for watching my stories. You know, would you like more information on the business I do and how you can make extra money from your phone? Yeah. How can you tell when you view it? You can go. So like if you go to your story, um, you can see. So if you go to your story, then you'll see like view and you just click on the view and it'll pop their names up. Yeah. So you're posting it on your story, not your page. What uh, I do stories and posts. I, okay. I post about opportunity on both. Yeah. Okay. I'm just saying anyone who views my stories, I will message them. Anyone who likes or comments on my posts, I message them. Okay. Yeah. Any way that I can get in a private message with somebody, I will. Um, because messaging is really important. It's asking, you know, if we don't ask, then we don't get. So if you're not asking, if you're not messaging people and asking them, you're not going to get. Um, okay, did, did I answer everyone's questions that were in here? Were there any that I missed? Let's see, anyone else have a question that you want to ask? What's a good message to send to people who viewed your story? So I just kind of mentioned, Anna, um, like, Hey, thanks for so much for, you know, watching my story. Are you, would you like more information on X, Y, Z? So if it was about the coffee, would you like more information about the coffee? If it was about the business, would you like more inf information about making extra money? You guys, if you have iPhone, you can download the word called word board or the app called word board, and you can save all of those verbiages into your, into there. Okay. So you could have a folder called story and put all your verbiages into the story. Um, if you 
have like a skinny, you can put a skinny brew folder and put all of your skinny brew, you know, mess, um, verbiages in there. All right, my friends. Um, so